of my life for Kana. My grand grand was supposed to marry you? Just like Katara had spent so long managing her own emotions, Master Paku gave in to his and agreed to train this determined young woman. Katara, you've advanced more quickly than any student I've ever trained. You have proven that with fierce determination, passion, and hard work, you can accomplish anything. Katara mastered the Northern Tribe's teachings just in time for her first major test, protecting Aang against Prince Zuko. I see you've learned a new trick, but I didn't come this far to lose to you. She was successful under the guidance of the moon. But once the sun fueled Zuko's flame, Katara was in hot water. <sighs> Still, she had more to learn. After the incident in the north, Katara would continue to train with Aang and refine her combative skills, for better or for worse. How are you gonna fight without your bending? Well, in addition to her bending powers, Katara would begin showcasing her unique strategic problem solving. How'd you get them to tell you? Oh, a girl has her ways. Whether it was strong arming informants or even biblically parting the seas, Katara's functional skills would get Team Avatar past many roadblocks. And as for combat, we'd soon see one of her most distinct and versatile weapons. Bending water as a literal extension of her arms. This was especially useful in her next major test, a battle alongside Aang against Prince Zuko and his